the name of the book. This is a quotation from Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Turkish Republic. He defined the Armenian genocide in a speech 24th April 1920 in a parliament session as a shameful act. And because he quoted and called this as a shameful act, my publishing house, it's not my idea, they put this as book title, and it was criticized and I was attacked in Turkey in major newspapers, Sabah, Hurriyet. They attacked me with the charge that I'm misquoting Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, and it's wrong, and he never said this. And after they made their own research, they found out that, indeed, founder of Turkish Republic called the event 1915 as a shameful act. And the next day, all these newspapers apologized. It is a mistake to assume that the Ottoman documents from Prime Ministerial Archive were created solely in order to obscure the action of the Ottoman government. In fact, I argue, the Ottoman documents, materials, found in the Prime Ministerial Archives in Istanbul make clear the intent of the Ottoman authorities and support and corroborate the narrative of the Armenian genocide as shown in Western archival sources. We can infer, get the information from the documents. It's very important to know the time difference between removing the Armenian and putting the Muslim immigrants in that villages, 15 days. It can be only if you get prepared for that. You cannot remove the entire population from a region and 15 days later put them another population in that region. There are dozens of documents in Ottoman archives. Talat Pasha, the interior ministry, orders from Istanbul that the children must be taken forcibly from the families. More than that, Armenian girls forcibly marry Muslims, and Armenian women and girls must be distributed among the villages, only among the Muslim villages, that so that they should forget their being Armenians. Let me finish my speech with a quotation from another Turk, Cherkez Hasan an Ottoman officer, was appointed first for the resettlement of the Armenians. After personally witnessed the killings in the region, he resigned, that the aim of the deportation was the killing, he resigned and wrote, quote, stop talking of deportation. Say instead that this was a decision to exterminate the Armenian nation and there will be no longer be any need for argument. I think it's a short summary of what happened. Thank you for listening.